To all U.S. active duty military and veterans, thank you for your service. And welcome to Highways and Byways. How are you doing? I'm Chris Carlisle. Today I'm going to tell you about going to a Christian rock concert when I was in high school. That's coming a little later, but right now here are some news headlines. VFW Post 1820 in Temple is selling four tracts of unused land. The Harris community of Splash Pad in Belton has Soggy Doggy Day this past Saturday. Now, uh, for those in uh, Bell County with uh, two legs, there's an app that lets uh, residents uh, rent private pool time by the hour. They're uh, thinking about using the old uh, Lingfield lumber yard uh, to extend the uh, trail behind the uh, Whistle Stop Playground in downtown Temple. The library in Temple had a free museum day this past Saturday to give a glimpse of uh, Central Texas institutions. The event was free. The neonatal intensive care unit at Baylor Scott and White Medical Center is one of only four uh, such centers in the state of Texas. There were uh, ceremonies on Monday marking the 22nd anniversary of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. I was at work when I first heard of the attacks. The Young Conservatives chapter at UMHV planted almost 3,000 flags on campus to honor the victims. A, a new car wash is supposed to open in Temple next year. It's going to be a Tommy's Express. There is also supposed to be a new a Chipotle opening in Temple. It's going to be on Adams Avenue, which isn't far from where I live. A statue of a panther was unveiled last week to honor the uh, former Dunbar High School in Temple. Faith leaders and uh, counselors are helping uh, students at Belton and Temple. Well, that's a look at the news. Uh, coming up, a look at sports. But first, they're having the annual uh, Central Texas Brawl Brunch put on by the American Cancer Society next month at the Bell County Expo Center from 11.30 to 1.00. The uh, theme this year is uh, the 1980s.
All right, you uh, may uh, recognize the uh, tune you just heard. It's the uh, theme from the Lone Ranger, also known as the William Tell Overture. Anyway, in sports, it was a week three of the uh, high school football season, and then again, that was shown on uh, national television on the ESPN2. Lake Belton lost to uh, Red Oak 38-34 to in overtime. Troy uh, scored in the final minute to uh, beat Rogers 22-19. Uh, Academy beat uh, Hillsborough 45 to 13. McGregor beat Gatesville 21 to 17. Salado lost to Malakoff 42 to nothing. Gerald lost to uh, Caldwell 28 to 21. Cameron lost to uh, Waco Connolly 59 to 38. Rockdale beat uh, Lexington 27 to 13. Moody beat Hubbard 47 to 16. Milano beat Central Texas Christian 27 to 7. Bruce Folletti lost to uh, Crossroads 34 to 15. Bartlett lost to uh, Meridian 47 to 26. Holy Trinity lost to uh, Dallas Lake Hill 54 to nothing. Uh, Holland beat Granger uh, 24 to 21. Temple lost to uh, College Station 60 to uh, 22. Belton beat uh, Huntsville 28 to 21. It was a week two of the college football season. Number 11, Texas beat number three, Alabama, 34-24. Baylor lost to Utah, 20-13. Texas A&M lost to Miami, 48-33. Uh, UMHB lost to Trinity, 45-22. Uh, it was week one of the NFL season. The Texans lost to the Ravens, 25-9. And the uh, Cowboys beat the uh, Giants 40 to nothing. The uh, Texans host the uh, Colts, and the Cowboys host the uh, Jets on Sunday. The Jets won't have Aaron Rodgers with them. He tore his Achilles tendon in Monday Night Football and is out for the year. In the uh, college football rankings, uh, Texas is ranked number four in the AP poll and number six in the coaches poll. Coming up, I'll tell you about going to a couple of Christian rock concerts when I was in high school. When I was a junior in high school, the uh, youth director at the uh, First uh, Baptist Church in Rosebud was a uh, Baylor student who was in the uh, Christian rock band called uh, Victory. That was back in 1987. And we went and saw them play at the uh, at a coffee house in Austin. And I think it was off I-35. Then a month after that, we went and saw the uh, Christian metal group Striper play at the Heart of Texas Coliseum in Waco. Now during intermission I went to uh, check out the souvenirs at the uh, souvenir stand and I think I got a cassette tape. While I was there I saw the one of the vendors uh, motion for security. Apparently somebody had tried to rip off a t-shirt. Now that ain't cool. Trying to steal from a Christian concert? No, that don't work with me. Anyway, also in 1987, uh, Central Texas Christian School in Temple uh, was founded. Rio Airways, uh, which used to be in Colleen, uh, went out of business. Baylor uh, football uh, finished fifth in the Southwest Conference. Texas finished third and won the Blue Bonnet Bowl. They beat uh, Pittsburgh 32-27. to And Texas A&M won the Southwest Conference Championship and beat uh, Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl on New Year's uh, 1988. In uh, other sports, the uh, Astros w finished uh, third in the National League West. The Oilers made the playoffs for the first time since 1980, where they lost in the divisional round. The uh, Rangers uh, finished uh, sixth in the American League West. By the way, the Oilers uh, finished uh, lost in the division round in 87. They lost in the wild card in 80. Anyway, uh, the Cowboys uh, finished second in the NFC East, but they had a record of 7-9 and nine and didn't make the playoffs. The uh, Dallas Sidekicks, who almost went out of business in 1986, won the uh, Major Indoor Soccer League Championship for 1986-1987. The Dallas Mavericks won their first division title when they won the 1986-87 NBA Midwest title, but they were eliminated in the uh, first round of the playoffs. Uh, in basketball, college basketball, A&M won the uh, Southwest Conference uh, men's tournament. 
Baylor finished uh, second in the uh, Southwest Conference regular season, while Texas uh, finished seventh in the uh, Southwest Conference regular season. Well, last week's episode, which was the uh, second one that you, you could see as a video, got uh, four views on the YouTube. That's where I talked about the Rosebud Reunion and Labor Day memories. Anyway, before I uh, go, here's a, a verse from the Good Book. It says, it's from uh, the book of Hebrews, chapter 4. It says, Let us uh, therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain uh, mercy and first grace to help in time of need. Be sure to hit the download button on whatever uh, platform you may listen on. Hit the like button, leave a follow, and thank you for watching and listening.